Hey, what's happening, you guys? This is your boy, Creative D. Will, your everyday creative dad. Welcome to the channel, and thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Man, I got a super duper dope video prepared for you guys today. We're gonna be talking about how to do pan automation inside of the machine uh, software as well as on the hardware. Um, I was making a beat, and I just realized, like, bro, I never really did any type of pan automation inside of the, the machine. So we're gonna take a look at that and see how you can do some, some different tricks with automation and panning and all that other good stuff stuff to make some 808 stand out or just whatever you want to do with your instruments so y'all know what time it is let's dive in and let's get creative guys so welcome back as you can see i have an instance of machine pulled up here the software and i also have my hardware right here so we're just going to take a really quick look at how to do pan automation inside of machine um it's a little bit different inside of machine uh to automate the pan function because typically what people typically do is uh they you would think that it would be over here and you could automate the side um these side buttons right here because that's how you pan and everything like that or you want to go to the mixer and actually um, pan it that way but you can't automate those so how you do it inside a machine you have to come over here to the uh, channel button and then you want to come over here to outputs and then from outputs you want to come right here to the pan uh, this allows you to pan the lo the level and the um, and the uh, uh, the level and i said it allows you to pan the level it allows you to automate the level and the um pan function so in order to do any type of automation you see this ring right here on the outside of it whenever you highlight it it clicks then you can actually move this around how you see fit so boom just like that and mine won't move because i already have the pan level set i mean the automation pan set so if i come back here you can see that it will move see why see how that moved right there so this is a drum pattern that i was working on boom we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just play this 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 uh this beat solo just the 808 so this is the 808 You can hear how the 808. You can hear how the 808 started off on the, in the left ear and then panned all the way over to the right. So I mean, from the right to the left. So, and that's what we're gonna do. I use 30 second notes, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So it's very simple. All you have to do is go over here to the output. Boom. Well, go back. You'd probably be on plugin, and you want to go to the output. Make sure you select it on the actual track that you want. And matter of fact, let me get rid of this. Boom and we're gonna do it from scratch so if i'm on here right there i can either go right here and click the top of it or i can come right here at the bottom down here hit this plus button right click on that go to sound output audio pan it's the same thing easier to just come into the output channel over here to your left and go into this right here and now you can actually draw an automation boom machine is a little finicky when it comes to automation i really don't like drawing it in if you want to zoom in you can come right down here and this little uh i guess scroll bar or whatever you can uh make it smaller and then zoom in a little bit smaller now it automatically snaps to the grid you can turn the grid off right here when you're drawing in automation and you can draw it in wherever you want to draw it in so if you got if you got that off then you can draw a little bit more fluent automation if you don't have it on if you have this grid on the snap on then it's going to draw only automation to the to the actual grid so you got to keep that into mind all right so we want we like that uh we want to come back over here take this off and i want to just draw something weird that's super duper dope so i'm panning left to right back left to right so when i come back over here and play this let me zoom out. I'll, I'll draw a little bit more automation over here, too. I'll come right here. Beep. Beep. Just draw something crazy. That kind of gives you, like, a weird curve. Well, so, all right. So, I'll play this back. Thank you. 
And that's how you do it on the actual in the actual software. Super simple, but that's how you pan. You can't do it the typical way of coming over here to the volume and pan section. You have to go to the output when you're in plugin, go to make sure you're on the channel tab, go to output and make sure you're in the audio tab and you will see uh, the pan and, and um, level function for each different track. So if I'm on here, you can see that it's different. All right, so how you do it on the actual hardware, let me bring up the hardware by itself, top down. Do, do, do. Let's just bring up just the camera. All right, so now I got my hardware. Now to do automation on the hardware, it's a little bit different. You wanna still, uh, let me go to plugin. So you're gonna start off like this. Make sure you're selected. Oh, that's cricket. All right, there we go. Bow. Make sure you select it on the sound that, you're, that you want to be on. Then you want to come over here in this top right hand channel, uh, right left hand corner. Hit channel, boom. And then you want to come over here to output, and you will see the pan function right here. Now that you have that set, I typically like to set this. I can go over here, hit play, and I can actually hit automation, this button that says auto, I can hold that down and then I can actually touch it and then it automatically uh, start the automation parameter right there. You can see that, oh, I'm on mute. You can see, you can see that it's, it's moving right there. So matter of fact, let me bring back up my actual uh, camera, boom. And when I hit auto, boom, you can see it's moving at the actual automation of the pan. It's automating the pan, right? And you can see it down here at the bottom too, where it's actually moving. So if I hit play, we're gonna just count in. If I hold down auto, you can see it's drawn in at automation. And you can see it's panning left and right. my 808s is actually moving so and it actually drew that automation in i can hit stop all right so that's how you do that all right so that's how you actually draw uh do the pan automation another thing that you can do is a lot of people don't know this but you can actually set macro so let me bring back up my machine boom by itself and i like to set macros macros allows you to it's like quick buttons you can pin these buttons so what i did was you want to come over here to um boom to uh to to the to the output section in the channel you want to select on whatever it is that you want hit shift macro and whatever knob you touch you can see it right there a little button pop up to it when that, when i press that whatever knob i touch you can see a button pop up next to it so if you go to shift macro set touch it boom now no matter what i do i can come out of here boom now, if I just want to get to the Mac, I can be in plugin, but if I say, okay, boom, I'm in plugin, I'm messing with it, I'm adding plugins and all this other stuff, I want to bring back up the pan function. I just hit macro right there, and it's automatically set at the bottom right there for me. So it's like a quick, a quick control for the machine that allows you to access those those settings you can actually set macros for anything so i can come back over here get out of macros and i can say okay boom macro set and i can say uh, i want to set this right here and i want to set the legato boom now if i come out of here hit macro again and if i tap on it now all everything that i touched is in my quick section for my macros so that's how you actually change the macros and do macros inside a machine. I hit play. And if I want to write some more automation, you can hear the 808. You see that? Uh, you can hear it. Very simple, very easy, super cool, super straightforward. So that's pretty much it. That is how you do pan automation inside a machine. I know that I had issues with it because it wasn't really that straightforward. And I just took some time while I was making this beat to figure out how to do it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So 
Thank you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, then please consider hitting that like button, that thumbs up, that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Because a lot of y'all are watching these videos, but y'all ain't subscribing. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And you can stay up to date with all these dope tips. All right, you guys, until next time, be awesome, be creative, and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life. Deuces.